Sorry for the recent delay in videos. I was having a lot of audio issues, but I went and picked up a mic, so let me know how it sounds. And with that, let's get right into the video. As a beginner to Sea of Thieves, the Maiden Voyage can teach you a lot. But there's some stuff that you can only learn from other pirates. I reached out to you guys on Twitter and asked, what's something that took you guys way too long to learn when you first started playing Sea of Thieves? So we're going to talk about some of those things today. Let's get into it. One of the first types of voyages you come across in Sea of Thieves is the Riddle. After you track down the island you're looking for and find all the landmarks, you come to the end of the quest where you have to count steps to find the treasure. Most players just guess at the number of steps, but there's a more accurate way to do this. Hold your compass up and it'll count each step and show you exactly where to dig. This next one is a fun one, whether you want to troll your crewmates or use it in a PvP situation. The Tactical Chunder. This is a little bit of an advanced technique that not all pirates know about. Have a couple grogs, or maybe eat some bait if you're into that sort of thing. Then hold your bucket out, and just wait. Eventually, you'll vomit into the bucket, and then you can store it in your inventory, giving you a tactical blinding weapon to use in PvP encounters, or like I said, a fun way to troll your crewmates. Speaking of bait, it can be a real pain in the ass to find the bait you're looking for, digging around in the barrels on island. So if you're looking for a specific bait, for a specific fish, write this one down. You can find earthworms in the grass, leeches on the shoreline, and grubs in the sand. It seems like all too often, we're in a situation where we're sailing straight into the wind. And boy is that painful. There is a way to make it not quite so harsh. Take your sails and square them straight into the wind. Now I know this defies all logic, but it works and you will go just a little bit faster. While you're out on the water, you're bound to run into all kinds of threats, whether that be other pirates, the Kraken, or those pesky island skeletons that are constantly shooting cannonballs at the ship. Something to keep in mind while you're dealing with these things is there's a cannonball radial, and you can access it when you're holding on to the cannon. This next one was at the top of the list on that Twitter post, and honestly, it really surprised me because I figured this would be something that a lot of players figured out the first time they held their sword swing down too long. The sword lunge. There's a few different ways to do it, so let's go through them. The first way is just to hold your sword swing key down and sword lunge. The second way is to block, then move, then sword lunge, and this will give you a little bit of advantage during a fight. The last one's the same, you want to block, move, and then sword lunge, but at the peak of your sword lunge, you want to jump. The third way can also be used when you're jumping into water as a great way to travel from the island to the ship, or from your boat to another. I know we've all had that moment of fear, where another player drops a keg from the crow's nest, or somebody comes climbing up the ladder with one lit. As soon as they drop it, there is a defense for this. You can quickly pick up the keg and extinguish the fuse. Knowing this could help you make a clutch play, or maybe even turn the tide during a fight. At the very least, it could give your ship a chance of not actually seeing the bottom of the ocean. Along with gunpowder kegs, it's likely to find ammo crates sitting around on islands. When you find them, they usually have around 50 shots, and when you get done with those 50 shots, don't throw the ammo crate away. You can take it back to your ship and refill it, or you can take it to an ammo crate on an island and refill it there as well. One of the first things you get tired of as a new player is getting bit by snakes. Whether you're trying to catch a snake in a basket or you're just passing through, stop and pull out some music. It'll start to dance and you can pick them up or be on your way. I hope some of these things help you out. I know I sure needed the help when I first started playing. And if it does, leave it a like. Let's see if we can get this one to like 15 or so. If you guys have any specific questions you want to ask, I do my best to respond to every single comment, so let me know down there. And that's that, so take it easy and see you guys next time.